In this episode of Ricky Remembers, Ricky remembers grade 6 Burgos at the Ateneo Grade School in the year 1988 to 1989. But before we get to today's memory or today's year, I'd like to encourage everybody to support our fundraising efforts for this year's alumni homecoming this December 7 at the Ateneo High School Covered Courts. We're having a concert by Parroquia ni Edgar this October 22 at the Music Museum in Green Hills. Buy your tickets now because if I'm not mistaken, I think today or tomorrow would be the last day that you can buy your tickets from us. After today or after tomorrow, you'll have to buy it from TicketNet. So you'll have to go to TicketNet and we're pretty sure once the tickets are available to the general public, they're gonna run out right away. So if you want your tickets to that concert on October 22, please approach myself, message myself, or any one of my batchmates, or Mark Bernal, who's also an admin of the Atenista Group and our chairman for this year's Alumni Homecoming. We're also having a raffle. We're raffling away a Hyundai Kona for first prize and then a Vespa scooter for second and then a specialized mountain bike as the third prize. We're also giving away cool hand shoes and Nautica clothes. Tickets are at 500 pesos each. So go check that out. Ask any of my batchmates again or myself or Mark Bernal if you want tickets to that raffle. And also we have our, um, our batch watch which is a Seiko urchin or a customized Seiko urchin with the Ateneo colors and of course with the Ignatian 94 logo. Uh, we sold out uh, with the blue faces or we sold out of the blue faces already but we still have some of the white faces left. The one with the white face. Uh, we still have a few of those left but they're running out quickly too. So if you want to grab that or if you want to get your hands on that uh, one of a kind item, very unique, only a limited piece, only a few pieces uh, made, please message myself or any one of my batch mates for that uh, batch watch. Um, again, this is all for our alumni homecoming and also for our brothers and sisters in Tulong Dunong. This is all for their benefit. So please, I encourage everyone to support our fundraising efforts. Now back to today's episode. Ricky remembers grade 6 Burgos at the Ateneo Grade School in the year 1988 to 1989. We're winding down the decade already. We ran through the entire 80s. So I did spend my entire 80s, or the entire 80s, my entire 80s. I spent a majority of the 80s, if not all of the 80s, at the Ateneo Grade School, which makes it extra memorable and extra special. So when I think of the 80s, I think Ateneo Grade School and all the classmates uh, and all the, the friends that I made and of course our teachers, uh, the ones who took care of us and taught us for um, elementary or for grade school. And for grade 6 Burgos, it was Mrs. Osmana Salomon. Ma'am, Mrs. Osmana Salomon. Mrs. Salomon! Uh, we had the benefit of having Mrs. Salomon as our moderator in grade 6. It was her first year to teach in Ateneo. And fortunately, she got us as her, uh, as her first batch of students. And I hope we didn't uh, disappoint. So Mrs. Salomon, this episode is for you. So Mrs. Salomon was our moderator for um, grade 6 Burgos and you know what I remember about um, grade 6 was doon na kami doon na tayo finally sa intermediate building. So di ba grade 3, grade 4, grade 5 doon pa sa may basketball courts. Doon na kami sa may building. So talagang feeling mo big boy ka na or you know moving up. This is the building where the rock garden is. You know the rock garden. The Rock Garden is a famous Ateneo grade school landmark. It's really, you know, it really is a rock garden. It's a bunch of rocks uh, in this space in front of the in front of the intermediate building. And I remember very well uh, what some students, what some Atenistas would do during recess or lunch is they would hop from rock to rock. I never did this myself because I'm a scaredy cat and um, I knew I was gonna get into an accident or an injury. If you remember my 
our episode from grade 1. Dalawang beses nang pumutok yung ulo ko. So, I'm not gonna risk it uh, in the 6th grade. Uh, so, what, what students will do, would do is they would hop from rock to rock. Eh, yung mga bato dun sa rock garden, madudulas yun, may lumot. There's moss on those rocks. So, you have to be very adroit or very, uh, what's the word? Uh, dapat magaling ka magbalance tsaka magaling ka sa you know, magaling kang kumapit to, to play in the rock garden or to hop from rock to rock may mga madadali lang mababa lang you know you just jump from one rock to the next but there were some that were pretty high and medyo malayo yung kailangan mong talonin and one of them in fact some of the students called it devil speak it was called devil speak I don't know if that was just for our year or that was something that was known for every generation but it was devil speak and it was quite a feat to jump from devil speak to the next rock or to the rock next to it because it's a bit of a jump ah, no? and it's dangerous I'm pretty sure many an Ateneo student or many an Atenean injured themselves playing in the rock garden either napilay or nabalian or nasprain or tinamaan sa ulo or something if you're one of those students uh who like playing rock to rock or like jumping rock to rock in the rock garden, leave a comment below. But ako definitely, I never tried it. Um, I'm pretty sure I would have gotten hurt. So that was the rock garden in front of the intermediate building. What I remember pa with the intermediate building was, um, maaga kasi akong dumadating eh. Yung school bus ko was early. So what would happen is, I would arrive there and the gate would still be closed. This was the gate. Uh, that was right next to the music room where Mr. Areza's music class. Uh, when you go inside the building in the first uh, floor, uh, music room na ni Mr. Areza yun eh, where he where he holds his music class. Malamig yung aircon dun. Uh, sarado pa yung gate na yun if you come in at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock. Basta maaga. So I would, <laughs> I would sit there with other students. Minsan nagiging kaibigan mo yung mga estudyante na yun. Kasi araw-araw nakikita mo, you'll all wait there for the janitor to open the gate so that's the intermediate building so in the intermediate building grade 6 and grade 7 so uh, and also during this time 1988 to 1989 was when they opened or inaugurated the david hall already so david hall was an addition or uh, an extension of the intermediate building so it was there was a new wing it's like there was a new wing for more classrooms for grade 6 and grade 7. Now, the one thing that's special about those classrooms in the old intermediate building or the original intermediate building, if you guys remember, was that the windows in those classrooms, especially in the older or the original building, the windows were floor to ceiling. They were floor to ceiling. So, uh, the, the classroom was very airy. Malamig, hindi siya mainit kasi nga uh, pumapasok yung hangin from the floor to the ceiling. And then yung jalousy, ito pa yung maganda doon because there's a jalousy. And it led to a field in the back. What we would do, I'm sure everybody did this, papalipad kami ng paper airplanes. Kasi ang taas na rin, taas yung building na yun. So pag nagpalipad ka ng paper airplane, it will travel a long distance before it would land. So if you look outside the windows of the grade 6 and the grade 7 classrooms, it will be littered or it's littered with paper airplanes from who knows how many generations or how many years of grade 6 graders and 7 graders flying paper planes outside. So, pag, pag, pagalingan pa ng paper airplane yan eh, kanya-kanya yung style ng airplane or ng paper airplane para mas malayo yung lili pa rin nung, nung paper airplane. So, that was one of our pastimes nung grade 6 and grade 7. But that was the first time we experienced that in that floor to ceiling window ng mga classroom nga na yun. So very memorable. Ang ganda ng architecture ng grade 6 and grade 7 classrooms if you think about it. Very uh, mid-century. Very, you know, it, it belonged to a, a very particular era. So yung design niya was very distinct. Um, so that's grade 6 Burgos. Uh, and also what I remember is in grade 6 parang talagang ginumble-jumble na yung mga students and classmates i don't recall if ha i have a classmate in or if i had a classmate in grade six who was also my classmate in grade five 
parang talagang ginumble ng mga faculty so that wala kang kaklase, nakaklase mo rin ng grade 5. I don't really remember anyone at all from 5 Intramuros who was also my classmate in 6 Burgos. So it was a good opportunity to make new friends, to make new new best friends. And for myself, my best friends, nakakatawa no, best friends. Kaya nga best dapat isa lang. Um, ang best friends ko noon or ang barkada ko nung grade 6 Burgos was RJ Del Castillo kasi nga Baizas Castillo BNC so was RJ Del Castillo RJ Del Castillo naging best friend ko yan ng grade 6 Burgos kumusta RJ and then also yung nasama sa barkada namin was Gino Ong Pauco Gino Ong Pauco of the famous Barrio Fiesta uh, business or Barrio Fiesta family kaya tuwing merong kaming field trip or merong class night or any event, may baong crispy pata yan para sa aming tatlo. Si RJ, ako, tsaka si Gino. Or basta may salo-salo sa classroom, siguradong may masarap na crispy pata tsaka kare-kare galing sa Barrio Fiesta because of Gino Ong Pauco. Other, you know, the um, other classmates memorable from Six Burgos was Peter Fabi. Peter Fabi, magaling na basketball player, magaling na varsity player ng Ateneo, or magaling na basketball player in general. Peter Fabi was also our classmate. Omar Ahon uh, was, a, was a classmate as well. Magaling din mag-basketball yan. Uh, and he's now a teacher. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he teaches math at uh, Ateneo grade school now. I remember Jed Dairit. Jed Dairit naman of Dairit's Burger. Puro restaurant yung mga klasiko. Uh, si Jed Dairit. And also remember uh, in the Five Intramuros episode, I talked about Paulo Tatad, who was the umpire in that infamous softball game where Bob Akot and Mr. Mortel had a shouting match. Paulo Tatad became my classmate in grade six. Um, and as I mentioned in the last episode, dinisolve na yung intrams. Wala nang intrams. So, Ang ginawa ni Peter Fabi, saka ni Omar Ahon, gumawa sila ng parang sarili nilang basketball league within the section. So Peter formed the team and Omar, Omar Ahon also formed his own team. So every Monday and Wednesday or Wednesday and Friday or every Friday lang yata, basta one day of the week, um, mag, mag, uh, maglalaro, magsiscrimmage yung dalawang team and we would tally the points and tally the the wins and the losses no so every friday nga ba atay peter remind me peter fabi remind me kung tsaka omar kung kailan tayo naglalaro nung basketball sa grade 6 na tayo tayo na lang wala na kasing intrams pero basketball lang walang volleyball walang soccer or or uh, football or volleyball and softball basketball lang so ang ang naalala kong kakampi ko sa team ni peter fabi so doon ako sa team ni peter nga no was Gino. Gino ang pa ako, Peter, and myself. Uh, and then sa kabila, si Omar Ahon had his own, uh, I think si na Arvin Barbano yung mga, yung mga kakampi naman niya doon. Um, so, yeah, we, every Friday or every Wednesday, after classes or after school, maglalaban yung dalawang team. Yun yung parang in, naging intrams namin. Uh, other teachers uh, from that year, uh, I I fondly remember Miss Josie Cruz. Josie Cruz, ma'am, uh, ma'am Josie Cruz was our teacher in math, and she was, you know, a very soft-spoken lady, but she was very good at teaching math. I remember her class very well. Uh, Miss Josie Cruz is also here in the states already. Every now and then, I see her on Facebook. Ma'am, regards, kumusta po? Thank you for for being patient with us and patiently teaching us math during our sixth year or our grade six in 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 ateneo grade school oh i also remember nung grade six na uso na yung nintendo family computer so na graduate na ako from pc games to more colorful uh uh the nintendo family computer and alalang alala ko ang kapalit ko ng cartridge dito di ba may cartridge on yung yung family computer was Neil Badillo and Junjun Mabalot for some reason si Junjun Mabalot tsaka si Neil Badillo always had a lot of games yung cartridges nung Nintendo Family Com and makikipagpalit ako naalala nyo yung overnight so mag-overnight kayo ng toys di ba 
Ang nangyayari, mag-overnightan kami ng Nintendo Family Computer Tapes or nung cartridge over the weekend. So, kailangan tapusin mo yun over the weekend. Uh, ice Climber, mag- <laughs> Ice Climber, Grey Juice, yeah, mga ma- Ikari Warriors. Yeah. So, sila yung kalaro, kalaro ko nun, bale. Si Neil Badilio. Kasi nga, Badilio by Zas. So, magkatabi rin kami. So, palagi kaming naghihiraman ng Nintendo Family Computer Cartridges. Neil, Junjun, kumusta kayo dyan? See you in December 7. Um, and then, uh, also, alam nyo, yung grade 6, um, I think it was, I don't know if it was puberty, hormones raging, maangas na yung mga, ano, mas, mas aggressive na yung mga bata. Nung, hindi na, you know, hindi na wholesome eh, hindi na, ano, parang, nauso na yung sindakan, tsaka yung mga siga, yung mga sapakan, ganyan. Siguro, you know, yung aggression, nag-build up na kasi nga nagbibinata na. Uh, grade 6 was the first time, kasi nga, ka-building mo yung mga grade 7, di ba? So, grade 6 was the first time na bully naman na ako ng ano, or nasindak na ako ng mga grade 7. Uh, remember nung grade 4, I told you na nabully ako within our classroom. Nung grade 6 ko naranasan yung nabully ako nung grade 7. So, I remember this very well. I would dread going to the cafeteria kasi the grade, some of the grade 7 people will be waiting there, you know, while you're walking to the cafeteria. Ah, abangan ka na niyan. And I remember this very well. One, I won't say his name, of course, but I remember it so well. Um, sinabihan ako ng isang grade 7 na ikaw ba siga ng grade 6? And I did not, I did not know how to answer. Basta natakot ako. So, uh, kasi nga, nung grade 6, uso yung ano eh. Di, di ba nung grade 5, spike? Nung grade 6, uso yung mahaba naman yung bangs. Yung naka, natatakpan yung kalahati ng mukha mo. Tapos may konting mullet din. So, ma... Mahaba yung likod, spike, tapos mahaba yung bangs. If you look at my grade 6 class picture, yun yung hairstyle ko noon. So, I think some of the upper classmen or some of the grade 7 kids na inis or na nayabangan sa itsura ko, I would be, I became the the target of bullying. No big deal, but you know, uh, so much so that when I was grade 7 and I was going na to high school, kinabahan ako kasi akala ko, oh my god, nandiyan yung mga second year ng bully sa akin nung grade 7 makikita ko na naman sa high school yung pala, sa high school ang kasabay ng lunch is first year and uh, third year, so naiwasan ko yung mga nang bullies or my tormentors nung ano, <laughs> yung tormentors ko nung grade school so that's what I remember from grade 6, partly uh, well, I just look at it ng fondly now when I got bullied by some grade 7 kids. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I would I would dread going to <laughs> the cafeteria noon kasi natatakot akong uh, mapag-initan. So, that's grade 6 Burgos. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I remember uh, more classmates from grade 6. Si, sabi ko na eh, nung grade 6, ano eh, parang iba-ibang character na na-expose ka na talaga dun sa mga ibang kaklase mo. I remember uh, Richie Valenzuela was our classmate in grade 6 and Rufus Rodriguez and also Popop Abanyo. Popop Abanyo uh, who's a doctor now was my classmate in grade 6. First time ko naging classmate. And Richie Valenzuela and Rufus Rodriguez. Kumusta kayo mga classmate? Kita-kita tayo sa ano ha? December 7. Uh, part of the reason why I'm doing this series the series dedicated to Ateneo grade school for Ricky Remembers is so that we have a jump off point or a starting point for reminiscing when it comes to or when we get to December 7 no? mapapagkwentuhan natin lahat yan when we are all there so I wanna say hi to my classmates in grade 6 Rufus Rodriguez Richie Valenzuela and Popop Abanyo and many more you know I'll, if as I remember them I'll tag them in the comments or in the status message in Facebook so that's our episode of Ricky Remembers for today. Ricky Remembers Grade 6 Burgos in Ateneo Grade School in the year 1988 to 1989. This is our, or this is my second to the last episode. Tomorrow will be the last. 
where Ricky remembers Grade 7, Gonzaga, 1989 to 1990. 90s na! And that's our episode for today. Again, I'll encourage everyone to support our fundraising efforts. We have a raffle. We have a concert by Parokya ni Edgar. Get your tickets now because tomorrow sa ticket net na yung, yung tickets. And mauubos yan kaagad. Wala pang 10 minutes, ubus yan. Sigurado. So get them now. Uh, Parokya ni Edgar at the Music Museum in Green Hills this October 22 uh, in Green Hills. And then our raffle, we're giving away a Hyundai Kona. A uh, Vespa scooter and a specialized bike and some shoes from Colhan and some clothes from Nautica. Uh, we're, give, we, we, we're also selling a Seiko Ateneo watch, a customized Seiko watch uh, with the white face. Ubus na po yung blue face na nabenta ka agad. So if you want to avail of that, make sure you message myself or any one of my batchmates. This has been Ricky Bizes for Ricky Remembers. Ricky Remembers Grade 6 Burgos in Ateneo Grade School in the year 1988 to 1989. Thank you again for tuning in. Please like, share, and comment in the videos. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button so every time there's a new episode, you'll get an alert. This has been Ricky Bizes for Ricky Remembers. I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace, love, courage. Bye.